Hi, I'm Aja and we're here at Melbourne Scavello showroom where we've got Professor Alan Hedge from Cornell University in USA to speak to our clients about green ergonomics. Now why is it important to think about something like ergonomics in relation to sustainable design? It's about the need for architects and interior designers to learn about and work with ergonomists so they can improve the quality of their design. Simply asking designers to create energy sensitive settings is not enough. Good ergonomics is an integral part of good design because it identifies the physical and the psychological needs of the people who are going to be in that setting. The vast majority of the cost of any building is the personnel. 92% of the costs of a building over its lifetime are the costs of the occupants of the building. There's little point in building an environmentally responsible building if it isn't optimal for the occupants of the workspace. It's nice to raise the profile and draw the link between work environment design and ergonomics design. And one of the good things is to promote the linkages between architects and designers with uh, fit out and facilities designs. That if you really want to maximise the health the well-being, the comfort, the performance, the productivity of people, you have to change your thinking about green design. And that's what I want to talk about. The new head of the US Green Building Council, Sandy Wiggins, said green building is not about buildings. It's about people. If you could change the productivity of people in the building by just 1%, that would be the equivalent of all the energy costs over the lifetime of the building. The question is, how do you do that?